Hi everyone, Kevin Ingbers here from Pinnacle Wealth in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I want to share something with you that's scary. I mean, really scary. It's when your son calls to remind you that your oldest granddaughter is now learning to drive. Wow, I did an instant double flash. I instantly flash back to what feels like only yesterday when I was teaching my oldest granddaughter's father to drive. Yeah, he was my oldest at the time, but I also instantly remember what it felt like when dad was teaching me to drive. Mom did more of my training, but dad did some. If, if you remember one of my earlier vlogs, I said that dad never worried about things he couldn't control. He always only worried about those things he could. I guess he controlled his fear by just not getting in the car with me. But when he did teach me, he was surprised at how tense I was. And he kept telling me, well, at least he kept audibly saying, relax. I think he was talking to me at the time, but maybe he was just uh, stifling his own fear. Relax. As he paid more attention to my white knuckles grasping the steering wheel as I strained to look over the front of the hood, because I was focused on making minor adjustments as that yellow line disappeared in front of the hood, he said to me, what are you looking at? I said, well, I'm making sure that the car stays just to the right of that yellow line. Alarmed, he explained to me, well, that's not what you should be looking at. No wonder you're making such quick adjustments. You're gonna have an accident. Can you even see the truck that's coming at you in the other lane? No, I said, I'm just following that yellow line. He informed me that there's a much better way to relax and enjoy the freedom of driving. And that was to look a little bit further into the future. Don't just look right down over the front of the hood. Um, and I realized at that time that it wasn't the gum that was making my jaw clench, draw sore. It was my white knuckles because I was too focused on what was right in front of me. You have to respect what's going on around you, but you still have to pay attention to what's on the horizon. To not take your eyes off the road completely, but only glance in the rearview mirror. You certainly wouldn't want to drive only looking at where you've been. I think I said those exact words to my son, and I'm wondering if he's using the same wise words that Grandpa shared with me. Or is he occasionally pushing his foot through the floor at board and grabbing the door handle and trying to remain calm, just like his dad did to him? Not sure. And I was thinking about what dad was teaching me to drive, or was he preparing me to give advice to others about saving and investing? Not to stare at the ground immediately in front of me, but to relax, check the rearview mirror occasionally, relax my grip on the steering wheel, and keep my perspective a little further down the road. Not to stare at what's coming at me, but to occasionally glimpse at it, look at the other lane, and keeping my eyes on the road and enjoying the journey. Well, my granddaughter will get this, but from Big E to Little E, listen to your dad. He was taught with words of wisdom that were passed down from one of the best. Regardless if it's learning to drive or investing in your financial plan for life, it's just good advice. Thanks, Dad. I miss him every day.